Do you know, if our heart is not beating regularly, or stopped beating suddenly, it can be reverted by making it beat again? Yeah, artificial cardiac pacemakers, a device implanted in your heart to prevent irregular rhythms, and even defibrillate necessarily. But who invented this amazing little machine and how? Let's dig deep into it. The first cardiac pacemaker was invented by a Canadian electrical engineer, John Hopps, who was researching the effects of radio frequency heating on hypothermia in 1941. He found that if the heart stopped beating when its temperature dropped, it could be restarted artificially, using mechanical or electrical stimulation to make it beat. This research allowed the development of the first cardiac defibrillation machine, which was used by Hops to start a dog's heart in 1949. In 1950, through research on dogs, Hops invented the first pacemaker device. But the device was too large to use internally. Imagine a dog having a pacemaker the size of his whole trunk. So the next big challenge was to make the device smaller. Challenge accepted. In 1958, Wilson Greatbatch, an American electrical engineer, invented the first implantable cardiac pacemaker. He also invented its batteries which were really important to keep it running. But no one can imagine putting his life on batteries, so here comes the development of transistors. The invention of the transistor meant that the electrodes which the pacemaker relied on no longer used vacuum tubes, and a small device could be used. In 1984 John Hobbs had a pacemaker fitted to regulate his own heart and received a replacement pacemaker 13 years later. By the mid-80s, fitting cardiac pacemakers had become a routine procedure that saved thousands of lives. Today, more than 3 million people worldwide have implanted cardiac pacemakers, which becomes one of the finest practices in the medical field today. Thanks to Canada's John Hobbs, patients with heart rhythm problems can now benefit from a number of implantable pacing devices, including one that provides cardiac resynchronization therapy and serves as a cardioverter defibrillator as well. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to learn more amazing facts about heart and emergency medicine. Or you can take a free course on our website at ecgkid.com.